Comparing two group policy objects can be pretty tricky with the native tools. Here in the Group Policy Management Console, or GPMC, I've created two different GPOs, Test 1 and Test 2. Now, if we open one up, each of these is only setting a couple of settings, and you'll find it under Computer Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Event Log. And what I've done is I've set the retained security log in this one to 75 days, in the other test GPO it's 7 days, and then both of them set the retention method for security log to by days. Now, right here in the GPMC, there's nothing I can really do to compare these two things. So what I've done, I hopped on Google, I punched in compare GPO, and I found this script that was written by Ed Wilson, the scripting guy at Microsoft. He's helpfully posted this in the repository, and what I've done is I've set the script's default parameters to reflect my environment. I've provided the domain name, the name of a domain controller, my two GPOs, and then the folder where I want the comparison information to be written. You don't have to set that information. It's possible to provide all of those parameters when you run the script. For example, we'll hop down here. There's the name of the script. Now, because I've set all of those parameters to what I want them to be by default, I don't need to specify the GPO names or the domain or the server names or any of that, but I do need to specify either minus computer or minus user based on which side of the GPO, the computer settings or the user settings, I want to compare. Running this, it's actually outputting both GPOs, test 2 and test 1, to an XML file, and then it's indicating that both of these GPOs change the same settings. So I see audit log retention period and retention days. Unfortunately, because of the way this output is created, I can't really tell that it's the security audit log that was changed. I, and I, I see that both of them changed that setting, but I don't actually get to see what they changed it to just with that default output. So this is why some folks will kind of start looking at third-party tools. And if you hop into Google or your favorite search engine and type compare GPO tool, you'll find plenty of different results. The key, and one of the things I discuss in the article that accompanies this video, is in deciding exactly what you're going to do with that comparison because different tools provide you with that information in different ways. For example, if you just need a, a quick check of what settings two GPOs do, well, then this little script can do that for you. If you need to dive deeper and maybe get a, a color-coded change management report that shows what values are different from GPO to GPO, well, then you're going to have to either do more work in something like PowerShell or find some tools that implement that for you.